Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm super excited because we're gonna be doing a week in the life of my hair. I have wavy curly hair if you're new here and I did a video like this last year, but it's been a while. So we're gonna do kind of like an updated one or just another week in the life of my wavy curly hair. And before we get into it, I would love if you would consider subscribing down below if you have not already and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. You can also come join me over on Instagram and Twitter. They are linked in my description box. And let's get into it. We're gonna get started with my wash day because my hair is long overdue for a good wash. It's up in a bun right now because my hair is so tangly. You guys have no idea. I know a lot of you guys comment about how your hair gets so tangly and mine does too, but I'm gonna detangle with my wet brush and a new mask I'm gonna be trying in the shower, so I might do a little bit of filming of that. Today is Monday, so we're gonna do like a full Monday through Sunday week. Um, I know that's not technical, but I feel like my weeks are Monday through Sunday, not Sunday through Saturday. It just feels so weird to me. Comment down below if you're like that. Honestly, I would love to know because there's like this debate with me and my sister and we kind of like disagree on that. But to me, Monday just feels like the first day of the week. I don't know. Anyways, kind of random, but let's get into the wash day. my kinky curly not today leave-in and then i also use the not your mother's curl talk curl foam i've been wanting to try that for a wash day and then i use the curl smith hydro style flexi jelly and the bread hair oil at the end to scrunch out the crunch i'm just coming on here to show you guys my second day hair i totally forgot to film yesterday after i washed my hair when it was dry if you want to see how it ended up looking watch my video on my favorite like affordable wavy curly hair products because I filmed that video the same day so you can see how my hair ended up drying but right now this is how it's looking for the second day excuse the stuff in the background I have that light there from filming before but I think that this looks pretty good for second day hair I have the tiniest bit of frizz but it's nothing crazy I have pretty good definition and volume and everything so excuse the lighting being so bright i'm standing in front of my vanity lights right now and it's like completely washing me out so that's how it's gonna be but just a quick little check-in um but i might do a little refresh tomorrow depending on how it ends up looking so i will see you guys then yeah i'm pretty darn happy with this hair for day two because it definitely does not always look like this see you guys tomorrow Hey guys, so I missed my check-in yesterday. Today is Thursday and I just have been kind of busy the last few days. I've been wearing my hair up though. I wore my hair up yesterday and today. So there's not much to see. Honestly, this is just how it goes sometimes and I just kind of clock out. I don't really go out much and I just end up wearing my hair up. I will take it down to show you guys how it's looking right now. I have it in this really cool like metal thing. I don't even know what you call this, but it's really cool because it, keeps the hair up and it's so fast and doesn't leave like marks in your hair and it's just really nice not that it really matters if there is hair tie marks in my hair right now because it's not looking too cute anyway honestly it's not that horrible if i shook it out a bit and parted it right or did like a little half up half down i could probably get it to look cute down and last night i did wear it kind of like parted like this with pieces out and then I did like a low bun instead of the high bun that I had just now. So I will often do that sometimes too. And that's still a really cute like curly hairstyle because 
you are kind of like showing the curls and having like a messy bun in the back. I'm not looking too great today. It looked maybe a little bit better than this yesterday, but really not that different. So you didn't miss much with me not checking in yesterday, but I think I am gonna do a refresh tomorrow. And honestly, you guys, a lot of the time when I refresh my hair, I leave it for that day. And then by the next day, it'll be like a little bit coarse or producty because of the fact that you added product back in or you like kind of re-scrunched it without it being completely wet, if that makes any sense. So it's not like as soft or smooth, but that's more for when I do a refresh on like third or fourth day hair. If I do a refresh like the next day because I'm like going out and I want my hair to look really good, then it's usually not as much of an issue because my hair doesn't have like Oh, there's a fly. You guys have no idea. Flies just love to attack me. It's a thing. Um, anyways, I need to kill that thing. But if you don't have the grease mixed in with the product and stuff, then it's usually not like as big of an issue when it comes to refreshing. But if I refresh on like third or fourth day hair, then I usually will just like make the next day my wash day. Not always, obviously sometimes I'm just at home and I don't really bother with my hair, but I'm guessing that Saturday is gonna be my next wash day if I do a refresh tomorrow, possibly Sunday, but I'm thinking Saturday. So we'll see. Honestly, a lot of the times on fourth day hair like this, I won't have like a ton of frizz unless I brush it out. I'll just have this kind of like limp, a little bit like greasy almost hair that is just, it doesn't really do much for me if you know what I'm saying. So anyways, I've just been rambling. So I can't put my hair back up on camera because I don't have like a tripod. I'm holding it with my hand, but I am gonna put my hair back up once I'm done filming here, just because I'm babysitting my niece tonight and I don't really, I'm not leaving my house, so I don't really feel the need to do my hair. Um, and this is just how it goes sometimes, like I said, so. Sorry that I've been too lazy to put makeup on too, but this is reality. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is the following Monday. Let me explain myself. I know I look like a mess, um, so please excuse that. I have been so busy and usually I'm not bad with like quick daily check-ins for something like this, but for some reason I have been so horrible with it. So I did like three of the days last week, I think. Ridiculous, but I've literally been wearing my hair up. I never ended up doing a refresh because I've just been doing stuff like every day. So today is another wash day. It's been a full week. I wasn't gonna wait this long, but like I said, I just really haven't had a ton of extra time. And honestly, I'm sure I could have made it work, but I was just all over the place. So like I said, I'm gonna go wash my hair. I'm not gonna film it this time because I already did that for the other one and I kind of feel like this video is gonna get really long since I'm gonna do more days in this. I will tell you guys, afterwards the products that I used and show you how it looks when it's dry this time hopefully this video is all over the place but you know what it's okay because it's just kind of like a series of days in the life of my hair I hope you guys enjoy it but my hair is gross right now so I am going to detangle it and wash it and I'll see you guys later. So my hair did not fully dry the night before. So this is the next day. There was a few little wonky pieces, but for the most part, it turned out okay. What I ended up using to style is this light twist by We Dad Leave-In, basically like the Kristen S one and the Diva Curl light defining gel. And then I used my Pro's hair oil. All right, guys. So I'm going to do a hair refresh because my hair really needs it. For the last time, I'm going to say I know this video has been all over the place, but I think I'm going to end it today. Today is Wednesday. So I guess in total, I think I did three days last week and sort of three days this week. So it would be like six days instead of seven. But I missed so many in between and I didn't want to scrap all this content. And I figured there's probably not going to be too much to see tomorrow. So I'm just going to end it today. I'm going to, let's see, show you guys my hair. It's definitely a little bit like stringy almost right now. I didn't really do too much with styling this time because... Um, I wanted to give my hair a break from just all of the products, so I just did a very light leave-in and the gel that I showed you guys. But yeah, my hair just needs a little bit of a refresh. It could use some dry shampoo, to be honest. I think my next wash, I am going to use um, my overtone dye again because I have not done anything with my hair since the video that I filmed. Um, where I dyed it with overtone. Like this is truly just how it has faded. And now it's just like a nice medium brown. It started out as like a really deep brown. 
and it's faded really nicely and evenly. So I think it looks pretty good as far as that goes, but I do want to touch it up and just get it looking really dark and rich again. So I'll probably do that in the next wash day, but I'm gonna grab some products for my refresh. So this is what we have. My Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Dry Shampoo. Um, I'm gonna use my spray bottle to just dampen my hair a little bit, not too much. And then I have this Playa Endless Summer Spray and the Innate Life Rose Hair Elixir. Two products that I really love, but haven't used them in a bit. So I wanna use these again. I shake pretty vigorously when it comes to my dry shampoo, you guys, because I really want that volume and I want to shake out any white cast. This really separates my hair, too, when it's kind of almost like clumping together in like weird stringy clumps um, after having it up for a bit. I'm using very little product because I don't feel like my hair needs a ton of product right now. It just needs a little bit of a refresh, a little bit of a lift. So since we already added that water in, I'm just doing pretty light spritzing of this. I just love a good spray refresh because it's just so much faster and easier and it gets the job done and it works well for like good product distribution too. A um, little bit of frizz, but we're going to take care of that with the oil then. Just did a bit of scrunching, and now I'm going to let it dry, which should only take like 10-15 minutes, and then I'll scrunch in my oil. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes because I got distracted, but I'm back. My hair is definitely looking more full, and I'm going to grab my rose hair elixir from the Innate Life, and with this one I use like one or two drops. A little goes a long way because it's like made from natural organic oils. It's very intense, but if you use a drop or two, it's perfect. Mm, it smells so good. Pure roses. Kind of go over that area first where it was a little bit frizzy. And then scrunch. I do have a few wonky pieces since, like I said, my hair didn't fully dry the other night after I washed it. I don't know why it took so long to dry when I used barely any products. I think I might have plopped it for too long instead of letting it down and letting air get in. But I was sitting in bed for part of it, so I just hate that feeling of like wet hair on my pillow, but. There's my little refresh. So it definitely looks fuller and more uniform, I guess, like the waves look better. I would definitely do another video like this in the future that's more actually like scheduled and not all over the place like this one, but. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see y'all next time. Bye. Now over 50,000, which is crazy to think about. I do have a giveaway.